This is the season. There are lots of holidays that people are celebrating, which is so wonderful. Passover ends tonight at sunset for those who are practicing the Jewish faith. This is a time to celebrate the biblical story of the Israelites escape from slavery in Egypt. Yep, really, really cool. Uh, Ramadan is also underway during which Muslims observe a month of fasting, prayer, and reflection. And I tell you what, the fasting is intense. Yeah, uh, it is. And Easter, which marks the end of Lent for Christians, is a time for fasting, prayer, and almsgiving. So it seems fitting to talk about something many people, whether they're religious or not, mm -hmm. they think about, and that's forgiveness. Boy, it's important. It really is. Dr. Karen Ryan with Nystrom and Associates joins us to walk us through self-forgiveness. It is interesting, Dr. Ryan. Welcome to the show. Thanks. As we just talked about those religious faiths and the practices, and there are elements of the importance of forgiveness in every single one of them. That it's are. a huge deal. It is a huge deal. It has such an impact on our well-being and our relationship with ourselves and others. And we oftentimes have the hardest time forgiving ourselves. Oh, yeah, like it's the thing we really can get stuck on. Especially and if you're a Midwesterner, it, like you, see, you just feel so good to hold a grudge and be oh, like, so yeah, mad. Yeah. <laughs> right? yeah. Well, yeah. I think I think for all of us, like uh, generationally, we weren't really talking about this stuff when we were kids. So you just kind of learn how to stuff tamp it down. Yeah. Like, stuff, it's like, it, stuff, just it, stuff, stuff it. Stuff it. Stuff it down. Stuff it down. Oh, it's, it's fine. fine. It'll, over time, it'll get better. Yeah. You know? Yes. So, but forgiving yourself is interesting. If you can start to forgive yourself, might you have an easier time forgiving others? Where do you yeah. begin with self-forgiveness? How do you define mm -hmm. that? And what do we need to forgive? Yeah, yeah, I, you are right, that ripple effect. So self-forgiveness means that you are able to accept like what happened, what you did, what the consequences were, and then willingness to move forward. Mm. So it's accurately and honestly kind of looking at what happened, being able to name it, feel it, think about it, and then move on. So that's kind of the definition of self-forgiveness. Okay. So mm -hmm. really, really internally self-reflect on what just transpired or what, what just happened in a, in a moment where you need to self-reflect. So the, the thing that I think resonates with me is you have to be really honest with yourself. And that's, I think yeah. that's the hardest part. Recognize it is the hardest it, part. Recognize like, okay, yeah, I, I probably messed up there. But then to really like think about like how you messed up or like what you need to like yeah. forgive yourself on, like that's yeah. the brutally hard part. And what you're highlighting is there's these the four steps or four R's for self-forgiveness. And you're highlighting that first step, which is taking responsibility. Okay. So it's recognizing, oh, it's kind of there, I kind of feel it, but I'm kind of avoiding it or mm -hmm. I'm rationalizing it, I'm being defensive, I'm making excuses for it. And so the first step of self-forgiveness is to like, honestly like look at it and take responsibility being able to say like yep i did that and that caused this consequence mm -hmm. and so when you can name that that really helps then that first step and it can be the hardest one so that's the first step is taking responsibility because what are people normally doing are we thinking about something that maybe we did that harmed someone else and we're sort of rational well they did that to me first which made me do that or yeah. it wasn't really as bad as this person saying it was mm -hmm. it, yes it can be that way where we're kind of making excuses or trying to rationalize it but then deep down it doesn't feel good because even let's say my response was justified in yelling at my spouse or my kids I'm still gonna feel bad after right yeah. because that key piece is then the next step is remorse or feeling some guilt and guilt can be motivating so guilt is healthy when we can look at it and say oof that didn't fit with my values that didn't fit with how I want to behave and it doesn't get me where I want to go and so we want to feel that healthy level of guilt that says I would like to make a change because that did not feel good to me. Okay, mm, but guilt and shame tricky. are two different They're things. They're very different things. And I feel like it's a slippery slope to go from guilt mm -hmm. that all of a sudden you can go into shame. And the yeah. difference between the two is... The most simple way I like to say it is guilt, I did something wrong or I did something bad or I did something that doesn't fit. Shame is I am bad. I am unworthy. Oh, so it's okay. the very difference between the behavior or my me as a person myself. And so that's where you take responsibility and you have guilt or remorse for that one action. Yeah. Yep. And then the third step is making restoration or repair. A sincere apology. Reconnection. Repairing. And when you do that, it's we oftentimes get stuck in um, not finding self-forgiveness because of the coulda, woulda, shoulda. If I only would have, I should have done this. Why didn't I just, I should have been a better mother. I should have been more patient. I should have done this. Mm -hmm. And when we can say, nope, I'm gonna now take a concrete action and apologize, now we've done that third step and we say, I've done what I can do. I cannot change the past, but I can sincerely apologize. So that's yeah. the third step. Okay. I See, I think, and I think this is also a tricky part too, because even if you feel like you need to apologize, and I am guilty 100% of this, I will apologize, but then I, as it's coming out of my mouth, <laughs> it's like, 
the tone isn't necessarily like apologetic. I might be saying the words I'm sorry yeah. or I'm taking re responsibility, but it's like it's a hard thing to like <laughs> for for it all to be like encompassing yeah. sincere. Yeah, you know? the person is going, "Are do you hear how you're saying Yeah, it's right like, now? "Are you really sorry or not?" <laughs> yes. say that. Okay, so I think I can help you out because the fourth step then is like renewal or having a new way of thinking about things. And so part of what allows us to be able to like accept responsibility and recognize like, "Oh, I messed up." is to feel like secure in who we are. And I'm not saying that you're not secure, but that's part of it is being able to say, all right, I'm human, right? I am gonna make a mistake. Yeah. I give myself permission to be human. I'm worthy of forgiveness, right? Um, that I can like self um, punishment or being mad at myself or putting myself down does not help me be a better person. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right? And so that's that key piece can be, all right, if I know it's okay to make mistakes, I'm still worthy, I'm still lovable, I'm still good. Mm -hmm. It kind of helps us make that sincere apology. Yeah, so after all, yeah. of, after all of this, let's just say this is like, we're helping a bunch of people out and this is like a one-time thing. Like, oh yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice those R's. Yeah. But the whole idea of self-forgiveness is like a learned skill as well. It takes yeah. time, it right? takes repetition. Time. It's right? a practice. Yes. It's yeah. a practice. Yeah, and sometimes for those one concrete things where you yell at the person, you repair and you do it, that's a shorter thing, but sometimes there's really big times. There's really big things where we really hurt somebody and it was over a length of period of time. And so when that kind of guilt pops up or we start to have trouble forgiving us, that's when we do that practice of, nope, I'm right. worthy of forgiveness. I've done what I can. Mm -hmm. What happens to people when they do this practice? Like, what's the shift that you see mm -hmm. in the people that you work with when they understand how to forgive themselves and they are able to let go? What do their lives look like? It's just improved in every sense, Yeah. right? So they have a better sense of self. They have better self-esteem. And when we feel better about ourselves, we interact with others better. So it really translates directly to those interpersonal relationships. Mm -hmm. Well, so you can just see the benefits we just feel better. It's so good. We're not, yeah. we're not carrying that stuff around. Yeah, we're not pushing gonna, it down. Right. And then also having to carry it around. I know. Yeah. yeah. I got to think that you're going to be just a happier and lighter person on your feet. Yes. And your energy is just going to be better. And it's, it's the yeah. next chapter. Like, this is a part of my life, but it's not all of it. I get to be in this next chapter now. And it feels refreshing. That's yeah. why this idea of like if you're doing therapy it, that it's like only for you is so ridiculous. Yeah. It is so much about how you the people that you interact with in your life and then even just the people you're in line with at the grocery yes. store. Yes. Like you are just spreading goodness right. everywhere yeah. if you're in a better place. Good goes around. Oh, Dr. Ryan. Oh, yeah. good goes that around. Was a good I like round. that. Thank you so much. Gosh, I'm like a so whole helpful. new person. That's <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> Yeah, I feel good now. All right, so <laughs> tomorrow, Dr. Ryan joins Minnesota Live to talk about being intentional during these uh, changes and transitions in your life. So Nystrom Associates provide care in the fields of family therapy, psychiatry, psychology, and much more. And you know, they work with couples, families, and people of all ages. So if you're struggling with anything like stress, anxiety, depression, addiction, or more, just reach out to them today.